I'm interested in hearing information anyway, so we we can certainly sit and listen to information. We have no executive action. We can't take any specific action. So, John's going to just fill in. You get brownie points for being the only counselor. Yeah, but I got kind of. It's not a matter of being So, I got presentation number one. Okay, so I've explained to uh, our friends from the media that we can take no executive action without quorum, but uh, as the mayor, I'm certainly interested in the information, so we'll, we'll have a presentation. Nobody heard he was coming. Yeah, Councilor, please come to the call assistant. Did you want me to do that? Yeah, just, just go ahead. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. And uh, let's not see, we don't want to restart. Just now. something uh, interesting about that. Yeah. <laughs> you restart later. I think they meant yeah. here, but we could do the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> um, I appreciate uh, that you take the time to uh, let us share the update. And uh, in the way of uh, our format, uh, we'll carry on as we, uh, yeah. we do normally. And I'll ask uh, Rick first to uh, give his uh, brief report, and then I'll walk through the uh, Director of Operations and the rest of the CEO information. Okay? Mr. Chairman, all government remittances are up to date, and there have been no purchases greater than $100,000 since the last four meetings. That's very key information, by the way. Yeah, well, especially on the remittances. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and as for the package mailed out on the uh, operation side, as you can see, a lot of the uh, capital projects that have been underway are getting near completion. The major one that is most visible with the exterior reskinning of uh, the place essentially is about 90% done. It's a little uh, off target from a timing point of view because of weather and a few other things, but it's still on budget. And uh, if weather permits, it will all be wrapped up by the end of January. Looks good too. Yeah, it looks improvement. really nice. The, um, they've done a great job and incorporated. We did some work with the city, as you recall, to also then uh, make sure that we were able to cover off or sort of skin the, the piece uh, for the Commonwealth uh, Plaza. So it's all nice and uh, uniform across there. They're rebuilding the entry steps on uh, McNabb Street and doing some work at the corner of um, uh, Summer Plain and King Street, and that's pretty much going to wrap it up. In addition to the uh, new slanted uh, metal, you see some parts with the new brown ones that look pretty sharp. Right. Uh, we've had some miscellaneous uh, repair work done in the uh, convention center on the uh, loading dock area. That's just about 100% uh, complete. Uh, over at Cost Coliseum, I don't know if you've been to uh, events coming in on uh, primarily on Bay of New York, that you know, some of the doors over time with a bit of shifting have been nearly impossible to open. And if you can get them open, you can't get them closed. So we've been redoing all of those, and we're about 85% uh, completed on that. And the last thing uh, that we did was just a refinishing of the parquet floors in the Shugo Park. Again, uh, part of our budget and uh, completed for about 15000 uh, on budget. Uh, so that's just part of the, you know, kind of the maintenance uh, piece of things. Okay. Uh, just to, if I may, in terms of a brief walkthrough by department, entertainment uh, November results are better than budget, and uh, pleased to see that uh, December forecast will be better than budget as well. Total year, uh, the number of bookings uh, are solid and on target, but a little short of budget due to some of the postponements that we talked about uh, last meeting uh, with some shows like uh, Carrie Edwards, a good example, that uh, was booked in 2012 but slid into the 2013 date, so each of those major cops shows, of course, is uh, worth a lot of money to us in the bottom line. Uh, the other big one was uh, Cirque du Soleil. We had been, um, a promise is too strong of a word, but uh, a strong indication that we would have another Cirque show last year with the Michael Jackson program, which again would have been a large one, but that uh, ended up not happening. Uh, I'm really pleased to say that the uh, major acts that we do have booked in the first couple of months of this year, the Air Church, Lady Gaga, etc., uh, they're all, all doing extremely well. So the, the programming for the first quarter for all three venues is uh, very strong. Okay. On the hospitality 
side, um, again, really pleased. To, as you know, we struggle with Councilor. Happy uh, New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. I apologize. I thought this was being rescheduled because there's nobody else around. Anyway. Information session. Sure information session. No action. All right, that's fair. Uh, on the hospitality side, as you recall, throughout our last number of meetings, we've been challenged with top-line sales, and as a result, uh, took pretty aggressive steps on margin management, cost control, et cetera, beginning in the summer, and have pulled uh, up from what was uh, targeting to be a, a significant loss of over $400,000 uh, in the convention center. We've now been able to pull that down uh, to about 170000 which is Year over year, $265,000 improvement in the convention center. So we're very pleased with that piece. We've also, just in terms of the transition, we've uh, spent obviously a, a lot of time with the uh, Carmen's folks, and we recently uh, did a joint uh, audit review of our pipeline for 2013 to make sure that they were comfortable with its contents, and uh, it was actually uh, overseen by KPMG to add some third party uh, objectivity, and, and everyone is uh, aligned in that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, on the operations side, I just give so much credit to uh, uh, Brad Calder and his team. Uh, they have really stuck uh, to excellent cost management throughout the year. And really, we've only engaged in what I would call maintenance and repair programs, except for the, uh, you know, the big one that you see, I guess, that they need to repair. Uh, and we've, uh, again, towards transition, we've been actively engaged in doing inventory of everything. Knives, forks, Zambonis, you name it, across all three venues for about 90% complete. And that's all falling in line with uh, our time on transition. Uh, the marketing side has been a lot of fun. As you know, we've, we've been involved in major shifting. Uh, on the east side of things, we launched a new um, website uh, last year and a number of other initiatives, Facebook and Twitter, etc. And pleased to see the numbers have grown significantly in all categories. So. Facebook's up 68%, uh, Twitter up 41% in our base. Um, really interesting stat. Uh, you know, I must admit, I'm, I'm pleased and also surprised that it's this good. Uh, but the uh, average uh, hits to our website has gone up uh, almost 10,000 or 32% in the past year, which is great. The, our, our primary um, e tool, it's not as, uh, as sexy as Facebook and Twitter and websites. But the most effective one in the sense of our ability to target uh, clients specific to genre, et cetera, and location uh, is uh, up uh, 13,500 uh, subscribers this year. It's not only say it's larger percentage, but uh, our base is now up to 131,500 people who every Tuesday hear from us. And then uh, in addition to that, depending on the specific uh, target for the show, uh, specialty groups will hear from us. And you can just see how that looks uh, visually. Um, just a reminder of uh, some of the things coming up. So very busy uh, first quarter in front of us. Um, tons of Bulldogs, uh, primarily in uh, February and March. Um, Eric Church, Lady Gaga, etc., as you can see. Uh, and then uh, Hamilton Place in the studio. This is just a sample of some of the great shows coming up. And again, pleased to see that uh, all of the shows are tracking well towards our targets, which we review, of course, uh, we see daily values, but also uh, review as a team every week to make sure we've got our marketing plans lined up. So, hope you didn't spend all your money at Christmas. And you can... I already got my tickets. <laughs> uh, for the month itself, uh, we had a net budgetary surplus of 33000 Convention Center a little soft uh, to budget of 18, but you know, when you roll in some of the other uh, side savings that we have, in fact, it, it's a break even. Entertainment, uh, 11K, a better than budget, and overall our uh, savings from general cost reductions was an additional 40, which gives us the 33 positive. And if you recall, we were at uh, a $26,000 surplus in October. So we, uh, we also see December uh, coming in at a positive. Um, one of the things we've revised uh, to the better, uh, if you recall in our last meeting, I said that in uh, 2011, over 10, we had reduced the municipal contribution by 1.2 million. In our last tally, last uh, month's meeting, we were looking at another 800,000 additional improvement this year, and we pleased to revise that now uh, to be 900,000. So, <clears throat> what's the 
Pardon me. So uh, the 1.2 improvement, 2010-11, would include the bulldog transition out of the deal, right? That's correct. So now in the 11 to 12, is that all completely out of the picture now? Um, in 12 it is. Uh, and then in 11, we still had, I believe, for the first three months roughly, right? We had some expense. Yeah, three and a half months. Three and a half months. Some expense and that loss associated with the Bulldogs. Yeah. So it's it's now pure and, and uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, even on a good year would be saving us uh, because they changed the deal three to five hundred thousand dollars. Great. Yep. So the quick summary for the year then would be, as I mentioned, about a $900,000 reduction in municipal contribution. Uh, we will fall short of what we said is a very aggressive budget this year. For example, our, our budget this year, uh, as far as municipal contribution, we set a budget of about $416,000 less than the year before. So we've come in, we're going to come in somewhere around three seventy-five to four and a quarter. You know, results are results. But if we had the same budget as last year, we'd be at, you know, right on target. Yeah. But uh, we're pleased with the progress, and would never suggest for a minute there isn't a whole bunch more progress to make. Yeah. On the transition piece, and I'll ask Tony to uh, jump in here and add to it. Uh, in general, uh, based on recent meetings, uh, we're setting kind of a working target to be able to come to GIC on the 31st with the recommendation on the management contracts. Um, that would mean uh, that we could then potentially go to council on the 15th, uh, excuse me, the 13th of February, uh, and then with a possible transition starting uh, around the 1st of March. And we emphasize the word target because obviously we want to do this right from all respects. It's a, a long-term investment. And so we'll do it right. Those are, are some stakes in the ground, at least. We continue to do a ton of things so with the employee group, uh, helping them uh, individually and as groups with the workshops and coaching, uh, communicating one-on-one uh, -on -one situations, little groups, uh, all employee meetings, all that sort of thing. Uh, with Global Spectrum, we have a call uh, this Thursday. We have exchanged uh, materials back and forth. We have a call with their team on uh, Thursday to try to hopefully get it to uh, you know, uh, a state of its uh, near readiness. Uh, we do have the Global Spectrum folks coming into town on the 15th and 16th, uh, 15th primarily associated with uh, their establishing their working agreements with Carmen's in the shared spaces, etc., in the venue. Uh, and uh, obviously we do some other things as well. And then we have meetings uh, set up with Mike Landlauer and uh, Stephen uh, and the team on the morning of the 16th to try to get to you know some near completion of the Bulldog Police as well. Uh, the Global Spectrum has had their team come in to do a real physical uh, inspection of the premises as well as uh, as well as their marketing team to see what uh, other things they believe they can do in conjunction with Michael's team for joint sales and marketing efforts. On the Carmen side, uh, the contract has uh, obviously been received from them, the draft. Uh, we have uh, to provide feedback, and a lot of it is, uh, uh, I guess, similar criteria on the GS model. Obviously, the numbers and the financials are different, but the formula for uh, the relationship, if you will, between us and them is similar. Uh, we have ongoing meetings, uh, largely on the sales side, um, and we've been working closely with them to ensure that uh, new business that either they have that they you know, want to bring downtown or deals that we're working on that they're aligned with those deals in terms of uh, content, margins, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and as you recall, at the last meeting they presented a number of upgrades that they wanted to get started on, so we've made sure that they've met with uh, Ron D'Angelo uh, and Brad Calder to ensure that those are done with you know, the appropriate contractors licensed and all that sort of thing. So. So lots going on there. Tony, would you like to uh, add anything? Yeah. No, uh, just that um, we decided to come to uh, clean the hole on the 14th to, to give a more fulsome, and now we in camera, to update council on uh, where we are in terms of negotiations and, and where it's headed, so that it's not all news to you guys when it comes to uh, the 31st. Okay. Um, Good. 
Are we asking questions this week? Yeah, go ahead. Just tell me you do. Okay, if I if I may then, uh, just on the upgrades uh, yes. that were presented by the request that was put forward by Carmen's at the, the last meeting, there just I just can I get some clarification on what the process is that they would be working through? Are they following the city's process in terms of RFPs and contractors? Um, you know, whoever can kind of speak to that. My my understanding, uh, Johnny, China as well. Uh, they have, they do things however they do things in terms of getting the, their costs and their, and their bids and so on and so forth. I don't know what process they use. I can tell you it wouldn't be a formal tender. Uh, they have their operators that they use. However, when it comes to coming onto the property, when they come onto the property, how they come onto the property, and ensuring that the, uh, all our insurance uh, conditions are in place, WSIB and all the rest of that stuff, that we are ensuring that um, they are compliant with, with what others would have to do in order to come in uh, to our facilities and do work. So uh, it's all from an insurance liability standpoint, we're ensuring that everything is in order. Uh, the contract itself, it's their work. So, and, and of course, uh, we have to comply with our internal uh, union uh, issues and all that. So it, it's, it's no different, um, uh, Councillor, through Chair, um, We've had other uh, um, entities do work for us. Um, example is in Ancaster where um, the, the Ancaster Soccer Club put in lights and, 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 and drainage and, uh, and, and underground um, sprinklers and so on and so forth on our property. They, they did it however they did it. Uh, but we maintain uh, control over access and, and liability issues. There's no different. Okay, so some of the processes are being followed. Well, absolutely. With, with the legal requirements for yes. WSIB for right. that, that kind of thing. Um, in terms of uh, whether or not they use union workers. The procurement side is all theirs. It's all theirs. Okay, so even without uh, an agreement signed and in place, we're good with that? We're, we're good uh, for sure because they're enhancing our facilities. Okay. We're not paying for it. Um, so if something goes wrong. We, we've got we've got the money and, and, and you know, so we're protected in every way we should perform. And that that basically is my bottom line question no, is, no is are the taxpayers part. protected here? Yeah. Um, you know because it, it, the buildings the venues they are owned by taxpayers. So we, I just want to make sure that uh, everyone is protected at the at the end of the day. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Anything else? That literally is the uh, the end of the update. I think we were all there when uh, Frank Russo spoke at the uh, Economic Summit, and the main message, if you recall, Councillor, was the enthusiasm that uh, their group had for the new day of promoting the Act 5 properties. And he sort of threatened us that, boy, you know, we ain't seen nothing yet, where will we get in there? So, so it's such a good thing moving forward at the right pace. And, and there's no concerns. Or we're only doing it once, so we might as well do it right. That's right. And, and, time and they, they have been uh, outstanding to work with. Yeah. Um, they have uh, deep resources, in, in, and I don't mean just financial, but uh, expertise. Mm -hmm. So we're able to uh, bring in <laughs> experts, for example, on their marketing side. They're doing a lot of work directly with the uh, uh, Bulldogs, for example to figure out what they can do together and of course even bring in the uh, Live Nation piece of it. So you know, more entertaining, you know, pre-game and between periods and all those sorts of things. So it, it will be very exciting to see what roles are going to do. I guess I just, uh, I mean, one last uh, kind of question. Um, around the Lady Gaga apps that have been coming in and the great announcements and, and our staff have really gone over and above in right. how hard they have worked in the last six to eight months and you know we need to be very very proud of that has there been uh, some assistance from live nation uh, and global spectrum over this the last is, uh, couple of months it's 100 per everything that you see booked is 100 percent the direct efforts of the existing team that's amazing yeah, yeah. well please pass on uh, our regards i, I just sure. i just Thank think you. that is yeah. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job and I can only imagine how much better it's going to be 
with the uh, assistance and, um, as you say, the foundation that Live Nation and Global Spectrum have to bring to our table. It's quite exciting. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Next. Are we done? That's it. Unless you have any uh, additional uh, questions. Uh, well, just the financial, I couldn't read it because the font's too small. <laughs> that's it's all good. <laughs> so, uh, so that's it then. And I appreciate the, even though we don't have forum to uh, update. What were you going to say? I, uh, I just need to sign it. Yeah, I'll sign it. Thank you, everyone. Thank and you. Looking yes, forward thank to, you. Uh, to our future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.